All right, tomorrow's a big day it's for many. It's a big yep. day. Happening tomorrow right. is our annular solar eclipse, which will be visible from Texas to Oregon. And now, joining us to discuss the eclipse and what you can expect is our AccuWeather astronomy expert, Brian Leda. Brian, it is always a pleasure to have you here, especially for such a big event. So let's dive in here. We have a ring of fire solar eclipse tomorrow. Can you explain to our viewers what that actually means if they've never seen or heard of that before? Yeah, good morning, Christina. And here in the United States, it's rare. We have Back-to-back -back eclipses just separated by 177 days. So we have this one coming up on Saturday, and then another one happening. It's going to be even more impressive next year in April. But what we have on Saturday is what is known as an annular solar eclipse. As the moon orbits the Earth, there's times where it's not a perfect circle in the orbit. There's times where the moon's a little bit closer to the Earth, so it's a little bit bigger in the sky. And times where it's a bit farther away from the Earth, where it's just a little bit smaller. And that little difference can make a big effect, especially during solar eclipses like this, because on Saturday, as the moon passes directly between the Earth and the sun, it's not going to be quite big enough to completely cover the sun. So what we're going to have in that narrow area from Oregon to Texas is uh, the moon will be outlined by a ring of sunlight or a ring of fire, hence that nickname of a ring of fire eclipse. Okay, considering you'll still be able to see some of the sun, this sounds like a don't stare straight at it without glasses situation, right? Yeah, definitely. You want to make sure that you take proper safety precautions so you don't damage your eyes. And so we recommend everyone use eclipse glasses or solar filters. Uh, if you still have some from back in the 2017 Great American Eclipse, they still work this time. Uh, just make sure that they have the following number printed on them. 123-12-2. If it has that number, then you're good to go and you can look at this event. Uh, but if you don't have eclipse glasses, there's still plenty to see around your area. If you go to AccuWeather.com, we have an article that breaks down different phenomena that you can look for with the, uh, if you don't have those eclipse glasses. Now, you did mention for the folks who maybe might not be able to see this eclipse or maybe they just don't have those glasses in time, we do have another solar eclipse in April of 2024. Can you explain what that is and what people can expect as they look forward to the spring? Yes, the event that we have coming up next year, April 8th, 2024, is a total solar eclipse. And in that event, the moon will completely block out the sun. Now, both this one that we have on Saturday and the one next year, all of North America will get a partial solar eclipse. So you at least get to see part of the show. But to see that total eclipse next year, you need to be in a zone from Texas to Maine. And <laughs> I've seen one myself. A total solar eclipse is unlike anything else. I highly recommend if you want to see it, start planning now. There's already hotels that are booked solid, so uh, it might be a little tricky to find reservations, but you definitely want to travel because after next year, we need to wait another 20 years before we could see another total solar eclipse in the United States. 20 years. Wow. Okay, so definitely start that planning, all you astronomy buffs out there. And AccuWeather astronomy expert Brian Leda, as always, such a pleasure to have you. Thanks for joining us this morning. Yeah, thanks for having me, and good luck viewing the eclipse this weekend. Thank you.